be honest how long have you been thinking about starting a youtube channel i know for me it's been more than a handful of years i've waffled i've gone back and forth about starting a youtube channel what would i even start the channel about and then i think i also talked myself into the idea that youtube was a young person's game you had to be in your 20s or whatever in order to have a successful channel but here's the thing is that we as people over 40 have been around for a longer <laughs> we have more life experience we have insights that younger people just haven't gone to yet and so once i turned 40 it was like this light switch turned on or off depending on how you want to look at it where the idea of worrying about what other people thought about me about the content i put out the content i created what it means to be an over 40 creator or whatever like it disappeared evaporated and my friend a close friend of mine she calls it zero f's 40. turn 40 and you start not caring i could care less about the opinion of the stranger on on the internet type thing so now I decided to seize the moment, seize the boosting confidence of like, okay, yes, I could do this. Yes, I can talk to the camera. Yes, I can share my expertise as a photographer, having been in business now for 15 years to help newer photographers get their businesses off the ground so that they can turn their passion into a profitable business instead of just an expensive hobby because man i wish that that person had existed back then of course when i was starting my business youtube was also just starting as a platform itself but now so much information can be shared on youtube and i know that especially when it's some kind of like how do i do this or how do i do that for example our like garbage disposal wasn't working this is a couple years ago but we went to youtube first to figure out how how to fix it and to see if we had escalated to having to call a plumber or whatever or we needed to install something and where did we go first we went to youtube and so i started to see the value of starting a youtube channel hi my name is katie i'm a brand photographer out of dallas texas in my expertise as a brand photographer as helping other businesses build a personal brand i know that the fastest way to create a connection between myself and a potential client is video you get to see my face you get to hear my voice you get to hear the nuances of how i speak and mannerisms and the whole thing and that's how we can build trust in a faster way because listen i don't know about you but have you ever received a text message or an email and you're not really sure if the other person is possibly upset or mad because either there's lack of punctuation or you know, the two word answer or whatever you can't read tone in text so that is the advantage of having video is that it's engaging you can listen to someone's voice you can hear their excitement you can hear if they're smiling did you know that <laughs> you can also see it in their eyes so there's just something special about video and about youtube and so one of the reasons i decided to start this youtube channel i'm flying by the seat of my pants do i know what i'm doing not really i'm figuring it out as i fly the plane as they say i know that whenever you start something new especially the older you get when we start something new we're like oh, i'm not an expert instantly like how come i haven't had this figure it out after one minute but that's not realistic just as you know my son is learning to ride a bike without training wheels and we're encouraging him to keep trying because he will eventually get it but he's like oh it's so hard he's like, ready to just give up and throw in the towel he's like can you just put my training wheels back on and you're gonna figure this out so along the same line is when it comes to youtubing when it comes to creating videos editing getting the sound right the whole thing we just gotta keep trying, keep going. I know there's some like YouTube gurus out there who say that your first 100 videos are gonna be crap, and that's probably true. In our age group, our demographic, we have 
a lot of wisdom to share. We have a lot that we can impart on others, mistakes that maybe we made that maybe others don't have to make. And for me, in my channel, I started something to help newer photographers get their businesses started right. One of the mistakes that I see newer photographers make is that they start charging for their services and they may not really be thinking about is their pricing profitable, are they turning a profit, are they even paying themselves because hey if you start a business you want to pay yourself right. So that's part of why I started this to you know help newer photographers whether they're young or older or whatever because you can start a business at any age. You can start a YouTube channel at any age and the hardest part is literally starting. As soon as I started recording videos and making videos, and I think having a an Instagram presence or having an Instagram account and using stories and using reels has helped, but honestly creating this long form content with video is definitely new to me, but I'm gonna take it step by step day by day, maybe hire an editor eventually to help me get these videos up and out and shared with the world because hey, you might need to hear from me and I might need to hear from you. As I was watching and what finally gave me that last <laughs> to start a YouTube channel, even though I don't feel qualified, I don't feel like I know what I'm doing, I don't feel like an expert by any means but you, we all have to start somewhere right even with someone who is becoming a doctor or a lawyer or any kind of professional uh, capacity even someone who's becoming an electrician we all have to learn steps of how we do the thing and we're not going to be an expert on day one and i think that's probably the biggest message of this whole thing is that we're not going to be experts from day one but if we start now and keep going eventually we're going to get the hang of this we are going to become experts because we will have had the experience it's kind of like when i started my photography business back in 2009 seeing friends and co-workers if i could use them as portfolio subjects not really knowing how to start or run a business i was brand new. I didn't go to college for business. I had a degree in communication. That was that was kind of it. And you learn how to build the business as you're flying the plane a lot of times. And sometimes that's the best way to do it. So here with YouTube, with this channel, I'm learning to fly the plane as I make each video. So this is my encouragement to you, is if you're in the same demographic as me, if you are a millennial, or as they like to call us, a geriatric millennial, and you wanna start a YouTube channel, this is my encouragement that you should, you should do it. Give it a try. If you decide you don't like it, it's okay, you can quit. <laughs> but you never know. Um, your life could just change. And I've only made a handful of videos so far, but I can tell you with great certainty that starting this YouTube channel, or fun really now, but who knows what it'll be down the road, but it has given me more confidence to speak to the camera, learning how to look directly into the camera. I'm talking directly to you. And I've gotten more comfortable sitting in front of the camera. I wanna improve my audio. I wanna improve the actual video quality, a tripod, the whole thing. But again, I want to keep it super simple. I don't want to complicate it by trying to be fancy with editing or anything like that because one of the trends that I've noticed is being these really simple talking head videos and that is definitely more my speed when it comes to YouTube, the flash and the bang and the this and the that. Some of other types of videos, I'm like, oh, that's not me. But I realize that you find your people here on YouTube. You find the people who need to hear your message and really I guess YouTube does a lot of that work with the algorithm. I hope you got something from this video and I hope to see you next time.